Hello everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope your weekend's gonna be off to a great start. Today I get to share with you a brand new Shape Shaker kit from Queen & Co. This is called Windows and I love this kit. Okay, we're gonna show you what comes in it. Um, this is the, the cover front of your kit. On the reverse side are step-by-step -step instructions. I got two of them, <laughs> I got a bonus but it shows you how to create your window shaker. Now, next in the kit, you get 11 dies, and three of those dies are windows, and they're in different shapes and sizes, and they are wonderful. If you like scene building, you're gonna love these dies. Now, in this second set of dies, these are like um, accessories for your windows. Um, they're really fun, but you get a dome shape, a rectangle, and a square. And then you also get a little flower box here. This little flower box is so cute. It'll fit each one of the windows. And you can flip it around too. You can kind of mix it up a little bit if you'd like. So you get those. And then in this die set, you get some cute little curtains. And there's a little stitch detail on those. And those will fit each one of your windows beautifully. The curved one, you kind of got to pull it in a little bit, but it will fit. And along with this, you get some shutters or one shutter. So if you want to create uh, shutters, you just die cut out two and it feature, uh, it'll it fit on each one of those windows. So cute. And there's embossed detail on there too. This here can be a valance or it could also be an awning. So it'll fit your dome window beautifully. And then this one here could be also a valance or an awning for your square and your rectangle window. Also included in this kit, you get a cute little flower and a little flower stem, which are so cute. And those are for your flower box. So if you wanna fill your flower box up with some cute little flowers, um, they included the leaf and the flower die there. So 11 dies are included in this Shape Shaker kit. Now also included are your your foam shakers, your foam fronts. Now these are nice because they're already pre-cut for you and they fit inside your windows beautifully. You get three of each sizes, so nine in total, and you just punch out the center piece and then you'll remove the release paper on the front and then on the back. The front release paper is clear, that's where you put your acetate. The back side is paper and then that's where you adhere that to your project. So you get nine total. Along with those, you get your acetate covers. And for these, you get three each also. And I'm pretty sure Queen & Co will have refills for this kit too. But you get three squares, three rectangles, and three domes. It just makes making shakers so easy. Okay, along with those, in this, kit, this month's kit, you get a three by four stamp set cute little sentiments. I love it because it's themed for all seasons. You have a just because, happy summer, winter wishes, home is where the heart is, happy new home, let it snow, just tons of sentiments. And they're nice photopolymer stamps, which is great. So they stamp beautifully. So that's the Shape Shaker kit called Windows. We're going to jump in and make five cards today. So I'm going to take the rectangle window and I'm going to actually cut out two white window frames. Uh, while I'm doing that also, I'm going to cut out a panel, my background panel. The size of this is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And then I'm taking a piece of glitter cardstock that I have in my stash. It's a white glitter and I want to create some real glittery curtains. So I'm going to cut out both curtains. Along with that, I did cut out a fishtail banner for my sentiment. Okay, before we punch these out of the cardstock, I'm going to actually grab my um, my scotch tape and I'm just going to secure some to the back of one of my windows. I wanted to back up my window um, on an extra piece. You could just cut out a regular piece of cardstock, but I find that this is a little bit more uniform. And so I just put scotch tape behind there to keep those little window panes inside. Okay, now we're going to build our shaker. So I'm going to grab our foam print here. I removed the inside already, so I'm going to remove the paper release, place that in the center of my window. 
Okay, now we get to add toppings. Now the toppings that I'm going to use today are called iridescent bubbles. And they are just, like they said, iridescent bubbles, but they are so pretty. Um, to this, my first card here is going to be a Christmas card. So I'm going to choose some iridescent bubbles that are green and red. And I'm going to fill up my window with those. I thought it would be really fun for my car, five cards today to create five different seasons. So we're going to do winter, spring, summer, and fall or autumn. And um, this is kind of like an extra one. So I wanted to create a Christmas one also. But I just removed the plastic release paper off the top of my shaker. I added my acetate. And now all I have to do is add my curtains. To adhere those, I'm just going to adhere them to my acetate with some glue. Once we have both of those adhered, I'm going to place my white window frame right on top of them. And we have a fun little shaker. I did add an acrylic block to weight it down so it would dry a little bit faster. Next, I went through my embossing folders and I found this one. This one has holly berries on it with some real pretty swirls. I just I cut out a panel and embossed that. The size of this panel here is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of color. So I'm taking my Copic marker here. I have Y11, YG11, YG13, and I'm also going to use G94. And I'm just shading in a piece of white cardstock. Now, um, in my stash, I have some like pine needle dies. There are three different sizes. And I thought it'd be fun to accent this card with some pine needles. So I'm just going to run um, two sets through my die cut machine. So they're, they have a little bit of a variant in color. For this card, I chose a sentiment that says winter wishes. I'm just going to stamp that on my fishtail banner with some VersaFine ink. I'm going to stamp it right in the center. Okay, now I have my card base here. It's a four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding card base. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my emboss panel down. And then I'll use my tape runner to adhere my shaker window. And I think that looks so pretty. Okay, <clears throat> next I'm going to pop up my sentiment with some foam tape. And this was the negative piece of my shaker shape. So I'm just going to cut a thin strip and use that. That way my window width and then my sentiment width are the same. I'm just going to place that in the center right below my window frame. Lovely. Okay, now we get to embellish it with our pine needles. So to do this, I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the very bottom. And I'm going to just make two clusters of three. Just adhering um, the points of them all in, in one area. And then I did do it right above the sentiment too. Okay, now to add a little bit of color, I'm going to use some pearls. These are berry red pearls from Queen & Co. They come in three different sizes and a variety of colors. I'm going to use um, one each of the three different sizes and create a little holly berry cluster in the center of my pine needles. And that's it. That's my first project. This is my Christmas card. I think it turned out really fun and and elegant. <laughs> okay, now we're moving on for card to card number two. Card number two, we're gonna make a spring card. And so I cut out a panel here. This panel is four inches by five and a quarter. I'm gonna use this embossing folder here. It's gonna create some um, horizontal lines on my background. Next, I have some gray cardstock and a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to use the gray cardstock and cut out two shutters and also the flower, um, the flower box. And then on the white cardstock, I'm going to use the dome window and cut out my window frame. Okay, and you can see the embossed detail on my shutters. I think that's just such 
such a nice thing. <laughs> and the window frame has stitching around it too. Actually, all three of the window frames have stitching and I love that. Okay, now I want to add some flowers to my flower box. Since this is a spring card, I'm going to use my Copic markers. I'm using V20, Y00, and RV11. And then for my leaves, I'm going to go in with YG11 and YG13. And I'm just going to just do a little bit of shading. This is a nice way to customize your flowers. It's just using your Copic markers. So I'm just going to run the leaves and the flowers through my die cut machine. Okay, now I'm going to take my glue and attach my flowers to my stems. And then after I have my flowers done, I looked at them and I thought, oh, add a little bit more color. So I'm going to go in with a few darker shades with my Copic markers. I'm going to use V22, Y13, RV14, and V25. I decided to darken up that purple a little bit more. So those are my flowers. Okay, now we get to build our shaker window. I need a background, so I'm going to use this pattern paper. This is a matte stack from Queen & Co. It's called Flirty Florals. And I chose the yellow polka dot pattern paper. I'm going to cut out, uh, this is going to be a valance for my window. So I cut that out and I'm going to place this on the inside of my window frame. Just going to straighten it up. And then you can see I cut out an extra piece. I'm going to trim that down and create a background for my window. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and tape down my background to my, my embossed panel there. I thought the um, horizontal stripes kind of looked like siding on a house, so that's what I went with that. Now next I'm going to take my, um, my shaker shape, punch out the middle here, remove the release paper off the back and place that directly on my panel, covering up that pattern paper there. And then I went ahead... <coughs> and grab some more of my iridescent bubbles. For this card, I chose the clear ones and then also the yellow ones. And then I just removed the release paper, added the acetate, and glued down my window frame. Okay, we're gonna add some glue behind the flower box and just place our flowers right behind it, making sure they're even. And then I did go ahead and add some foam tape behind uh, my shutters and then also my flower box. For my sentiment, I'm going to stamp the sentiment that says, Hello Spring. And I decided to use my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I thought this was a really quick drying ink because I wanted to add a little color to my sentiment. So I'm going to grab some fossilized amber distress oxide ink and clean off my stamp and then I want to stamp right on top of my Hello Spring with the fossilized amber. This is going to give me a two-tone sentiment but it's going to give it a little bit of color down there. Next I'm going to add some adhesive behind my panel and we're going to place this on the top folding A2 size card base. It's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper off of my shutters, add some foam behind my flowers also, and then arrange them around my window. Now for the center of my flowers, I'm going to add some pearls. The colors that I'm adding are indigo, yellow sunshine, and pretty in pink. They match the colors of my flowers beautifully. And then just to add a little something more to my flower box, I'm taking my white gel pen and I just added a few little white highlights to it. And as I did that, I realized my one of my flowers popped out of my flower box, so I'm just readjusting a bit. But that's my Hello Spring card. So easy to create, but really pretty. And I like the balance on the inside. I think it adds a nice effect. But here's some close-ups. Okay, now for my third card. For this card, we're going to be making a fall card. And I think this one's kind of my favorite. And I didn't want to make a shaker. I wanted to show you the versatility of these window dies. And so I 
embossed the panel using one of my, it's almost like a rock kind of a texture embossing folder. I just used a panel that's four and a quarter or four and inches by five and a quarter. I'm taking some gray cardstock and I'm going to die cut out my window frame. Love that. You know, the window frame can also be used as a present too. I saw that after I did this and I thought, well, that'd be a nice present too. <laughs> I'd also cut out a fishtail banner for my sentiment. And now we're going to do some ink blending with some distress oxide inks. I want to use fall color. So this is fossilized amber. Next, I'm going to grab some abandoned coral. I'm just going to blend the two lightly together. Um, the paper that I'm using is actually Canson XL watercolor cardstock. I like the um, the texture on it and the weight of it. Um, for my third color, I'm going to go in with some peeled paint. I thought those were some, some nice fall colors. To give my panel a little bit of texture, I'm going to add some dots of vintage photo. Now I'm grabbing a leaf die from my stash and I'm going to cut out three leaves in the three different colors here. Okay. Next we're going to stamp our sentiment. Now for my sentiment, I chose the sentiment that says Autumn Greetings. I have a niece named Autumn and I thought, well, this would be a nice little, <laughs> nice little card for her. <laughs> okay, we stamped that. Now I'm kind of going to arrange my leaves on my background panel. And originally I was just going to lay everything flat and wasn't going to add any dimension. But I had that negative piece <clears throat> on the inside that I could use. So I'm going to take that, remove the release paper off the back and place that on my panel. And then I'm going to remove the release paper off of the top. And then I'm just going to kind of arrange my green, my fall leaves on that foam adhesive there. And they stick beautifully. Now, there's still some tackiness left on the foam. I'm actually going to rear flip this around a little bit. I thought it'd be pretty to have a little bit hanging out of my window frame. Something a little bit different. Okay, since it's still tacky, I decided to add some glitter. This is like almost clear glitter just for my stash and I'm just going to rub it in, kind of burnish it in so it sticks to that adhesive. Now if you don't want to use glitter, if you want to use your um, anti-static powder tool, it would work just the same. Um, it just wouldn't be as sparkly. <laughs> okay. And I think that looks really pretty. Now after we get that done, I'm going to go ahead and glue down Actually, I'm going to take some foam strips. This is leftover foam pieces from the shakers we used earlier. Um, I just cut down thin strips. I'm going to go around the edge of the square because my frame um, needs a frame, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But I just added foam around the entire square and then glued down my frame and then glued down my sentiment right in the center. Now for bells and whistles, I did add some more pearls. The colors that I used were yellow sunshine, berry red, and just peachy. But that finishes off that card. Okay, now we're going to move along to card number four. I already embossed this panel here. This panel is embossed with some snowflakes. Um, it's three and a half inches by four and three quarters. Next. I'm going to grab this gray pattern paper and I'm going to cut out a background panel that's going to be on the outside of my embossed panel. That size is four inches by five and a quarter and I'm just going to layer both of those together. I'm going to use my tape runner and adhere that to my card base. Okay, now we get to work on our window. For this window, I wanted to use a gray, so I'm going to use the dome. I'm going to cut out a white window frame and then also a gray window frame. And I also want to use the flower box, so I'm going to cut that out with some gray cardstock as well. I also grabbed two snowflake dies from my stash. I'm going to cut out two snowflakes, two different sizes. I'm going to run that through my die cut machine and we're all set to go. Now for my white background, my window frame, I um, taped, taped it down. I just didn't want um, those panels to remove and I still, I wanted to do the same thing I did for card number one. 
Now we're going to stamp our sentiment. I thought it would be fun to stamp our sentiment on the flower box. The sentiment says, let it snow. So this is my winter card. <sighs> I'm using my VersaFine ink. I'm going to go over the top of it with white embossing powder. And then I went ahead and melted that. I did offset it to the left because we're going to actually put a snowflake right next to it. Now I'm going to add my flower box to the bottom of my window frame. Okay, great. Now we're going to go ahead and add our foam front. Remove the release paper from the back. Place that on our window frame. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the release paper. And we're going to add some toppings. The toppings for this card, I chose the clear ones. And then I thought, well, I'll bring in a little bit of color. So I'm actually going to grab my Distress Oxide ink. This here is tumbled glass, and this was a hindsight. So I decided to add a little bit of shading to the inside of my window. It didn't get all the way to the edges, but I thought it looked kind of neat. It kind of looked like snow. So here's where I go in with my toppings, my iridescent bubbles, my white, and, my, and then I decided to add some blue in there. To give it just a little bit of color. Okay, I'm going to add my acetate right over the top. And then I'll go ahead and glue down my window frame right over the top of that. And then all we have to do is adhere that to our card base. Now I want to add a little bit of color to my snowflakes as well. So I'm just using my blending tool, whatever ink is left over from the tumble glass, and just shading the edges. I'm just going to use my glue and attach my snowflakes. And then for a little bit of something, I decided to go in with some pearls. These are the white ones. They're actually called pearls, so my pearl pearls. <laughs> and I'm going to add a little bit around my little snowflakes too. And that finishes off my winter card. Super fun and easy. Okay, now we're gonna hear some close-ups, and now we're gonna move along to our final card today. Now all we have, all the seasons we have left is summer, so we're gonna make a summer card. Now this one kind of doesn't color, fit the color theme. We're kind of gonna go a little bit bold. Um, I did decide to grab a Lawn Fawn stamp set that I had in my stash. It has, it's called um, Make Lemonade. I stamped and colored in and fussy cut out the lemonade and the lemonade cup. This panel here is three and a half inches by four and three quarters. I didn't do any embossing with this one, but I am going to grab some pattern paper. This pattern paper is from the Pretty Presents Matte Stack. It's a six by six paper pad from Queen & Co. And then I'm also going to grab some green pattern paper from the Delightful Dots Matte Stack. And you can tell my paper pads are well loved. I keep them in actually in a quart size Ziploc baggie. I just cut off the Ziploc part and they store beautifully in there. And that way all my pieces stay together. Okay, I'm going to adhere this pattern paper to the bottom of my panel. We're going to go ahead and adhere this to our yellow pattern paper. The size of that panel is four inches by five and a quarter. We're just going to tape this down directly to our card base. Okay, now for my window frame, I'm going to die cut out a window with white cardstock. And then also I want to use this awning. So I'm going to use black cardstock to cut that out. And then I'm also going to cut it out with the white cardstock here too. I did go ahead and cut out a fishtail banner for my sentiment. Now we're going to remove the release paper off of our shaker shape and place that on our card base. I'm going to get it straight. <laughs> Okay, now for my toppings for this card, I want to kind of go a little bit different. So these are called Fruity Fun Toppings, and they are so cute, and I can't believe they make fruit this small. They are so adorable. You get grapes and apples, and then there's little um, grapefruits and strawberries, 
the ones that I'm using here are yellow apples and then they have um, lemon slices. So I thought that'd go good in there. An orange, actually kind of grapefruit, orangey kind of slices. Okay, I'm going to take my valance. I'm actually going to grab my scoreboard and I'm going to reinforce that score line. It's just going to make it easier to crease. Now I wanted a black and white um, awning for my window. So I'm taking the black awning that we die cut and I'm cutting out the strips every other one and I'm going to glue them in place on my white panel. That's going to give me a quick and easy black and white panel, but I'm still going to have that wonderful shape. I was kind of going for a, a lemonade kind of a stand and I thought that spoke summer. Okay, now on the reverse side of here, <clears throat> I'm actually going to use my bone folder and, and reinforce that score line. Lovely. I'm going to fold in the little loopies on the other side. Okay, now I'm going to add some score tape to the back and then also I'm going to add some foam tape. The score tape is at the very top where that fold is. I wanted it to be really strong when I adhered it to the card and then the foam tape was actually going to pop it up a bit just to give it a little bit of dimension. Now next I stamped the sentiment that says Hello Summer, just using VersaFine ink. And then I just added my lemonade pitcher with a little glass. Now for a little bit of sparkle, I did go over the lemonade with my um, Wink Estella Clear Shimmer Pen, but that finishes off my summer card. So these are the five seasonal cards that I made. I hope this gives you some ideas on how to use some window um, dies. And if you're interested in this kit, um, and everything that I use, I'll leave links in the description area for you guys. But this is a great die set to have on your stash. I mean, you could put a water scene in the background. You could put any, I mean, I even thought about doing a little bakery. I thought that would be so cute. But thanks so much for joining me, guys. I wish you a fantastic day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.